April 2020, my dad is diagnosed with colon cancer. Already a pill to swallow during this pandemic period, which meant I couldn't be in the hospital with him. He couldn't receive any visitors. He could, um, he had to go in by himself and I am involved in every aspect of his health care. I had to trust. That was hard, not being there. He made it through the surgery. We're on the other side. He's now cancer free. You have to go in for post-op visitation with the doctors, the surgeons. First visit after post-surgery, the doctor immediately comes in the room and he says, Miss Mack, you have to make sure that your father gets the COVID vaccine as soon as it comes out. I didn't like that because I had been hearing about the vaccine. I wasn't so certain about it. I wasn't sure if it was for my father. I wasn't sure if it was safe. I wasn't sure of anything. I didn't know much about it. I wasn't quite sold. Went home, prayed on it for a couple of weeks, looking for signs and uh, on radio, talked to pastor about it. And uh, I actually learned a lot more about it. But the one thing that made me decide that it was the right thing to do is the fact that in all the research that I did and along with what the doctor told me, there at that time had not been anyone who had died from taking the COVID vaccination. And that's what we were fearful of, is losing my father or losing a loved one. And that's what everyone's fearful of. I encourage everyone, if you have the fear, it's natural. We don't know about it. But do your research. Look at me. I go to church here. You guys see me all the time. I went through it. Many other people, if you just ask them, they'll tell you. They, were, they had fears just like you do. But if we say we have faith, there's a time that you have to stand up in your faith. And this is the time. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things unseen. So we don't know that there's a God that lives and that, that presides over our lives as far as him being physical, but we know it, we feel it. We know the Holy Ghost. So if you're gonna make a decision, make your decision based on that. Make it on that, not rumors or the internet or fear because fear has no place in our lives as saints. And that's what you should really be afraid of. And I think that's what most people are afraid of who don't get the vaccine. So do it. You got support here.